Hello YouTubers, this is my first uh, video in English and <coughs> I hope you uh, will enjoy it and you can understand everything what I say. Okay, I will start with, my, with a new series of paintings, uh, 10 minute paintings and this is the first one. Um, it's uh, painted on a little cardboard. Um, it's, in my opinion, it's a um, wonderful uh, present, a uh, gift uh, for uh, someone you like or you can um, put on a stamp here and uh, send it to your friends. Uh, it's, yeah, you can use it for, for many um, purposes. Okay, and it's a very short painting, we uh, using only three colors. Uh, you see uh, here <laughs> six colors, but um, I've, I've tried different colors, but these three ones um, um, are not useful for the painting. So we are using an orange, um, cadmium yellow, Prussian blue and a lot of white. Okay, we start with the sky. Um, uh, oh, okay, I forgot. Three um, brushes. Uh, we need three brushes. One is a, a, t uh, um, um, a round brush, uh, um, and one is a flat brush, um, and a liner brush. Okay, which um, size uh, you uh, will use? Uh, I, it's your uh, uh, decision. Okay. We start with the sky, and we, knew, we uh, use a lot of white and only a touch of Prussian blue because Prussian blue is very is a very intensive color you see I've just nothing on the on the brush but you can as you can see the um, the white changed a little bit to blue so this is the color we are using and we apply it on the cardboard from the top and um, uh, when I go um, from the top below, I'm uh, mixing more white to the blue because on the horizon the sky is a little bit uh, brighter than up on on um, on the <laughs> top. Okay, I hope you understand this. So, sky is ready, even ready. A little change um, for um, um, as you can see, I have painted uh, the edges of uh, the cardboard a little bit darker. I will do it here too. Add a little bit blue to my to my white. A uh, little bit more. So on the edges, I clean the brush and wipe it with soft um, movements so later you can see the, the brush um, strokes so okay the sky is ready the next one is the, are the mountains in the background I'm using um, Prussian blue orange Yellow, more Prussian blue. Okay, it should be slightly green, but more more uh, gray. And um, I think you seeing here only a dark <laughs> dark spot. But if I'm, um, I I'm, uh, take my uh, pencil and um, put some white on it, and I don't um, uh, use the paint here I'm using only the paint on the brush and as you can see uh, I am getting uh, a um, yeah it's it's like a greenish um, a greenish um, gray so I'll add a little bit more of the bl Prussian blue because um, um, Vegetation far away from uh, from me on the horizon has um, more a blue touch than a green touch. So, adding more white. So and then you can see I have a little a, a gray, and it's very easy uh, to uh, paint um, the mountains and the horizon. I uh, take my flat brush, put it 
this way on the cardboard and then I um, take it this way and so the mountains are painted ready okay, you can change the color if you want so I do too a little bit yellow but only a touch a little bit more white then adjust the color and can change it so there are um, a variety of different colors as you can see I, I don't um, mix the color completely because I like it when um, when I have different colors and not only one color from red to light so okay mountains are ready next one um, the ground from from here to there um, I'm taking um, um, orange, yellow, and a lot of white. Really, lot of white. More yellow. So yeah. it's a color like um, you see here, like light ochre, but a little bit brighter and more colorful. I like it. See, okay, the palette is too, too uh, not big enough. So. Okay, so now it's this is the color that I wanted. Uh, want, want, so you see, um, I have different paints on the um, a brush. I, I, I even have, have uh, had um, cleaned it because I like it when. Um, yeah, I've <laughs> repeated. I, I'm re is that a re repetition. <laughs> I've said it before. I like it when different colors are um, in the painting. So. Uh, the color should uh, should um, change from light to uh, colorful in intensity. So now I, uh, you have see, as you see on the palette here is uh, the bright color, uh, the color with a uh, lot of, lot of white, and here is the other color. The um, I have mixed first, so I, I'm, I'm using this one. And the more the more I um, paint to the foreground, the more color I add to this. So, okay, we have, oh, it's already done. Now I'm painting the, um, the trees, and for the trees um, I'm using the round brush. I uh, put it in the water, so he, uh, the brush is really wet. So my fingers are painted too. <laughs> okay, now brush in blue. and yellow and a lot of brush uh, blue be, uh, because um, I'm first painting the, the dark parts of the, um, of the trees okay so now you um, you uh, turn the um, the uh, brush so every every bristle uh, is uh, loaded with paint so I add a little bit water so now I take my round brush and um, put it on the cardboard press it very hard and move it up to the top and um, put the brush away from the cardboard so and so automatically you get a, a, a form like a drop Oh, it's not enough. Just have to mix more of the color. So next one. Um, uh, yes, <laughs> I forgot uh, to explain. Um, normally, I wait until the painting is dry. Now it's a little bit wet, so um, wet. So you can see here, uh, mix the color. That is not uh, perfect, but it's uh, on. Uh, it's on a tutorial, so you can. You should have fun, and it's it's not perfect. Okay, next one. I put put it on. Go upwards, and have painted the next tree. Then the third tree. Two. 
Zack. Okay. So. For the... Um, oh, what's the name for this stem? I don't know. Um, for the dark parts, I'm using um, Prussian blue. A little bit of orange, so I, I, I got a brownish color. Dark brownish color. You can use uh, the round brush or the flat brush or the liner brush. I've, I'm using uh, the round brush. So, and there. So I get very easy my whatever it, you call this. It's not dark enough because the, the, the painting is wet, is already wet. Um, I just um, stop the video and continue when, when it's uh, dry so uh, uh, you can see it much better. Okay, it's dry and uh, so I can paint the, the, um, this part of the trees. <laughs> and it's, it's much darker, this is the intended color. Okay. Um, you can see here that I um, added some um, reflections, uh, uh, white reflections, because the um, upper part of the uh, uh, tree uh, is in, in, in light, so I only uh, I take white and add it to this, to this color, and then a little bit orange, no more white. So I have this bright color, and I add only a it's not white, it's not uh, bright enough. So, that is great. Okay. <sighs> I'm just adjusting the upper part of the trees because um, it was uh, wet when I painted over the surface. And okay, that's much better. Now it's dark. It's so dark like I have. Plant it so okay. Let's paint two. And here. So, okay. So I need um, um, some um, more uh, dark parts on the uh, right side of the trees because they are in the shadow. The the light. Um, um, is on the left side, so I take this color and add a little bit orange to it, so I get a very dark brown, brownish, brownish uh, color. And uh, this I uh, using for the upper part of the tree and the right part of, uh, until the so here. Okay, you can see the the. Um, Trees get more, um, more uh, three-dimensional touch. Okay. Oh, the painting is already wet on this part. And now I, I am adding the um, the left part. The left part is in in uh, in, um, in the sun. Oh, I've. I'm mixing a very light green and put it over the dark green and you can see it's how, how nice it, it looks. Adding a little bit white. So and in the third part I'm Adding more yellow and more white, I just have to take more yellow. Okay, I add more yellow and a little bit white. So can I lighten? I, I can um, lighten the the, um, the left part, which is in the sun, in the bright sun. So. Okay, perhaps here a little bit more of, the <laughs> of this color, I like this one. So, okay, now I'm painting the shadows. It's orange, 
and a touch of the Prussian blue and yellow. I get a light brownish color, a little bit darker perhaps. Okay, and oh, I'm using the flat brush, I think. So, this is great, it's a great color. bit more of the blue should be a little bit darker okay okay ready and the last part are the uh, this these little uh, birds in the sky so I'm using uh, this color and put more uh, more uh, of the blue so because I want to have a, a grayish color okay this is wonderful and a little and white uh, um, mixing white to it because the birds are uh, in the, in the uh, uh, um, far away so um, they are not precisely to see I cannot precise, precisely see them so. I think this is the right color. If you use the liner brush, add um, uh, much water because um, uh, the liner brush only has a few bristles, so um, you have um, to look that it's enough color on it. So and it's very easy. I'm um, make a comma. Oh, it's too too dark. More white. So, okay, that's much better. I can adjust, adjust this in the, in the next uh, step. Here's another bird. And the third bird is more around here. So, I can add a little dark to it on the end of the um, things here in the end and a little bit poor white for reflections on the other, on the other side of um, the, the the thing how <laughs> with the birds fly with <laughs> Okay, the painting is all is ready. It just you can um, just here and there uh, a little bit um, details. You can see here that it's it's not uh, dark enough. So I, I use my dark brown. I'm mixing with brush, Prussian blue and um, orange, and can add it on the side here. So to get more depth. Uh, to the trees, you can see how how it ch uh, how the um, the look of the trees completely changes when I'm I'm using this dark color. So. Okay, now I lighten it a little bit for um, here this side. Click, click. So now oh, it's much better. And last step, I'm using my orange with and adding here some um, some colorful reflections in the ground. So yes, and the painting is done, and you see it's similar to the first one, a little bit. <laughs> Um, different, and I, I can see where it's different. Uh, it's different in the in the um, background, but so because of the I don't want to have um, a completely uh, st 
straight line on the horizon because uh, the mountains are far away so I can't see them uh, exactly and so I'm just uh, I'm adjusting uh, the, the um, horizon line with my finger and a little pe bit paint so I know it's done ready 10 minute painting in 20 minutes <laughs> Okay, uh, it lasts a little a bit longer than 10 minutes because I have to explain uh, to you what you have to do. But you see it's uh, a very nice little painting. Have fun with it and uh, have fun with it and okay, until the next video. Goodbye.